I'm here with artist Kate Richberg, and today we're talking about things that are through the eyes of the artist. And take a look at these earrings. I love these, Kate. Thanks, Katie. I am so in love with the art and the artistic way that Frida Kahlo just, I don't know, made herself into a living work of art. So the way I just interpreted these earrings, thinking that maybe it would be something that Frida would wear. Definitely. I think so. And yeah. they're really fun. Thanks. I love them. So we'll jump in by uh, starting with a pre-made flower blank. And I've stamped the flower to give it a little bit of texture. And you can see I've started it already. So I just have my bench block, my little um, stamp, and I'm just gonna continue to stamp a design on this flower blank. Just there and there. There we go. Once that flower blank has been stamped, I'm going to place it uh, design side up into the dapping block and I'm just going to curve it so it looks like a flower. Sure. And just give it a few light taps with your little dap and you can see how we've got our little curved flower there. Yeah, that looks good. Now we need a center for this flower before we actually add it to the ear wire. And what I use is fine silver wire. Now Katie, I have a little trick for you for making our little granules because we're gonna use a granule for that center. Um, what I do with um, the wire is I jump in and I cut my little uh, wire here, I want all of my granules to be the same length. So I've got some washers here, little three millimeter washers that I've stacked up and I just put my wire down inside that washer and see how I use that as kind of like a little shim. It's a great idea. And when I take my washers away, look at that, Katie. They're all the same size. Perfect. Next, I put those on, just one of those, on my little charcoal block. And I use charcoal block to make granules, just so that the granule has a nice flat bottom and they don't stick to the surface when I make okay. them. And notice how I've also kind of bent that wire in an L shape. That keeps the granule from rolling off, or the wire from rolling off as I heat it up to make a granule. Okay. So I'm gonna fire up the torch since you've Great. got your safety glasses I'm ready. on. And let's just go ahead and I'm gonna melt that little wire into a nice round granule. I'm gonna have my soldering pick at the ready just to make sure that it doesn't roll off anywhere. There it goes. But there's that granule. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to grab my soldering tweezers, carefully pick this granule up, and I'm gonna quench it. Okay. So now that granule's ready to go. So we're going to come in, now we need an ear wire, right? Something for the wire, the ear wire to go through your ear. So I've cut a piece of wire that's about three inches from the end of the wire and I use my, the back of my chasing hammer and I just give it a little bit of tapping to make a flat place for the flower to be soldered onto. Okay. So I'm gonna use my favorite, I'm gonna use some paste solder and I'm gonna grab my flower. I'm just gonna attach, or just extrude a little bit of that paste solder and put it right on the back of my flower. Now I don't need more than about a two millimeter sized ball here. So I'm gonna take away just a little bit. There we go. So you can prevent some of that cleanup later. Huh? Yeah, exactly. There we go. Now I'm gonna place it just on my flat part of my wire here and I've used a kiln brick, and the kiln brick allows me to make a little tiny channel in it, so my wire has some place to move to sit, so it doesn't move all around when right. when I'm soldering. I'm so excited! I'm just dropping that. everything, Katie. There we go. Thank you. Welcome. We'll use this one here because soldering is so exciting and fun. We're going to add a little more solder or a little more paste solder there. And see how I just put that right in the middle? Coax that into place. Perfect. Now I'm ready to solder. Shall we do it? Yes. All right, let's pop on this torch. And remember, Katie, when we're soldering, we're heating the metal. And the metal is what, the heat of the metal is what causes the solder to flow. Now, if your little flower moves around a little bit, that's okay. You're just gonna use your solder pick to coax it back into place but it doesn't take much heat. And you can see that looks like it's all ready to go. Done and done. That was fast. It's pretty quick. The wire's thin, and I also 
really focused my flame right on the flower portion of this rather than the wire so that wire didn't melt under the torch. Now I quench it and it's all good to go. So I have some finished ones here and the finished ones are already pickled and I polish them and I antique them. So they're ready to shape into an air wire. Okay. Okay. So I want to use a, um, a round nose plier and I have this stepped plier here. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to make my little curve and I'm going to grab my little chain nose pliers here and we're just going to make that little curve into a hook and that's where my earring is going to dangle from. Okay. And now I'm going to make the ear wire part. Bend this over. Get that stepped plier right in there. If you didn't have the stepped plier, you could use a Sharpie or you something know, like that. You know, that's right. I can use a marker. I can use anything that has that same circumference that I can pull that right over. Okay. Now you can see that looks like an ear wire to me. Perfect. And all I do is just hammer it ever so slightly to give it a little bit of shape. Right at that curve. I'll cut away my extra, because that's a little long for an ear wire. I'm gonna go ahead, clip that off, and I will dip that little end up, just like so to give it a little more shape. And now, if you want, because that ear wire can be a little rough, I'll use a little bit of wet dry sandpaper, maybe about a 400 grit, to file that down, and now it's ready to add to my earring. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I've got one already pre-made, something I think Frida would have liked, and we'll go ahead and open that loop up that I've made, open it to the side, hang that earring right off, close it up. You can use a bent chain nose or a straight chain nose, but I like how that bent chain nose really helps me get that loop there. And there we have nice. an earring that's ready to go. That is really cool. Thank I love you. the look of it. And if you, you know, if for some reason you weren't into flowers, which I can't imagine, but some people aren't, right. you could use a little circle yeah, blank. You could use other shapes. Yeah, there's all kinds of little small pre-made blanks and all different kinds of metals that you can use. You can certainly make this uh, little accent a different metal and still use the sterling wire for the ear wire. And I have to show them my ring because oh. you know I love this ring. Well, Kate thanks. made this. I it is did. so beautiful. Just for Katie and see it says that same flower motif and that same little granule motif right in there. I think this is becoming one of your special techniques. It is. I love a flower. The Kate Richburg signature That's look. That's right. Via, via la maestra Frida. There you go. Yeah.